What size businesses require, do all businesses require evacuation signs? Or, and for example, all, if... All structures, all, all, all um, not all structures, uh, but uh, buildings that, that have, um, a, you know, a bit of complexity to them. Like a workplace uh, can be an oval, so you don't need an evacuation sign there. But if you have a event on that oval, so you have a... Um, um, Tents or something. Uh, yeah, say a, a, um, a concert or a, um, some sort of event. Uh, the building fire safety regulation, workplace health and safety kicks in, okay? Uh, the c travelling carnivals, you know, the shows, um, you know, they get there and they've got to have their extinguishers and they have to be checked. And, and uh, in fact, they have a... I only just saw it recently. I, I never really noticed it, but I'm pretty sure there's a code of practice for, um, uh, for those types of events. So... Um, uh, um, well, it might be a code of practice for, for the, um, uh, the rides, uh, for instance. But the by the by is that, that yes, um, uh, you've, you've, if it's got any, any sort of building or complexity or, uh, uh, and it's a structure, um, needs to have evacuation signs. If it's just five people working out in the middle of a paddock digging a hole, um, probably not, but workplace health and safety still applies, um, you know, and there's no risk of an explosion or fire, so you probably don't need an extinguisher. Um, so, but that's what would be a risk assessed for that particular job. Now, in construction, it's relatively simple, apart from having, you know, a construction plan which has safety, you have the rec legal requirement of safe work method statement. So, uh, if you're working in construction, you know, your, your job is to analyse uh, that risk uh, set your steps up, my controls are going to put in place, and that has to be monitored and reviewed virtually every day, you know, because in construction, there's, you can imagine a um, building. I, I did a safe work method statement that rolled for the two or three years it was for the stadium to reveal, and that changed 11 times over those, I think it was two years, I can't remember now. Um, yeah, so, so there was 11 versions of that swim, so... Um, and that's what we do. We grow with the company too. It might be the little lawnmower company, but then it might end up being a franchised one. So the software can run multiple locations as well, uh, international locations. So uh, we've got um, um, uh, uh, clients that, that have multiple locations around Australia. So that means the boss can see everything that's happening. Uh, you know, and um, are being managed and, and will be touched on the shoulder by us if, if we think that something needs to be looked at. As I said before on the other podcast, we're not perfect. You know, we're relatively new when you look at the, the big picture, uh, having uh, in this form started last April. Um, but but you've got uh, a I can, lot of experience the, behind yeah, it. Yeah, to, to use a, uh, you know, a commonly used layman term is that all the ducks are in a row. Okay, we're good at what we do. Um, you know, we'll get better uh, as time goes past, uh, and people will be able to see the the reward uh, not only to their business, but um, their workers will notice it, uh, and and they they do. Uh, a lot of workers within our company contribute, uh, and there's ability for them to contribute. They can comment on a policy. They can comment on a procedure. Um, oh, on work up, right? They yeah, yeah, yeah. So they can even comment on their on the video uh, that's in there. We've, we've, when I first started, it, uh, you know, I had uh, comments where they picked up spelling mistakes or grammatical errors, or even put ideas through. Uh, and then, as we get better uh, with the with the company using the software, uh, there's other modules that you can turn on. Now we're 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 going to see if we can just do a podcast on walking through rather than your typical type advertorial walking through all the modules so everybody gets to, to, to see and ask questions about it. Um, but, uh, you know, it's to me, it's the best software that's out there. Uh, you know, they're always uh, continually improving. They are extraordinarily proactive, but they don't just say uh, twist and turn to the to the client's will. Is they they because all the, their mod modules talk to each other and there's a lot of other interconnections. So it gets put on and, and you can go on their website to see the things that are on the list for consideration. 
and the things that are being um, um, in the process of being implemented. So even their philosophy of onboarding uh, uh, new products or, or new um, tools within products uh, in WorkHub uh, is really well regimented. You know, that's why it's such a frustrating, I, I admit, sometimes when you like things to happen overnight. Um, but uh, when you're looking at the way that they deliver their package, um, it's rock solid by the time. There's very little, uh, you know, beta treatment to whatever's happened uh, later. It generally just uh, works when it comes out. So, yeah, and and just for the viewers, WorkHub is the software that we that Safety Hut is is built upon, and exactly is 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 basically the complete solution for their their safety, and it even has the other other abilities to manage their business as well. For example, newsletters or uh, SMS. I'm not sure if that's available yeah. in Australia, but... Uh, yeah, it's everything to do with safety, okay? Yeah. So, uh, and a little bit of HR. So, um, we, uh, there's a fair amount of our clients taking that up because there's a fair... I, I'm surprised that I keep bumping into it. If you've got about 40 odd clients, there's, there's a lot of people that are still relying on their um, accountant or whatever to... Uh, or someone in the office to deal with HR or the boss has got to deal with it, is that we, we, we can offer that service now. Um, where for smaller to medium businesses, we can manage their HR. So if the person goes off sick, they've got the ability to upload their um, medical certificate, um, you know, on their, their portal. Um, you know, uh, we've got the skills to be able to uh, video link up and have a discussion in regards to, um, you know, performance management, for instance, if you want to go down that track with us um, and looking after people. So, the, you know, we've got everything from, um, you know, the, the, the three-person uh, reticulation company um, that just uses the basics um, and, uh, you know, right up to, um, at the moment there, I think it's 85-odd. Um, they were up around 100, but they, they jump up and down. Um, you know, people, uh, and that's without taking in consideration their uh, subcontractors as well, which we, we which we can manage within the software. Um, not up to the level of construction. Um, uh, construction is really focused on subcontractors. Construction generally has a small um, management team uh, and key uh, uh, people that are that are employed by the company. Um, but then they have a massive load of subcontractors and that's there's already uh, software out there um, that's specifically targeted and, and, and it's well serviced, um, especially big companies, construction companies, already well serviced out there. Like expensive, but yeah, that, that, and they tend to have their own safety person uh, managing uh, all those sorts of things too. So our, our, our uh, main target uh, is um, smaller medium business and medium can go up to you know quite a few hundred people um, uh, depending on the nature of the business so, uh, but the one good thing about work hub it's so uh, malleable you can pretty well make it uh, what it needs to be uh, and perhaps uh, we might look at construction down the track uh, we want to grow organically um, one of the reasons for podcasting is to get our name out there and, and, and let people have a think about uh, you know the, the application of our service, and then um, then once they've taken us on board, they they get the experience of um, you know the service that we provide, uh, and then slowly uh, you know we hope to grow uh, over time. I'm sh I'm pretty positive we will because um, uh, I think it's an education thing which the podcast is going to help us do. Um, and then once people uh, feel more, they, they get their value for money uh, and they're feeling comfortable, it's like pay, paying insurance is, uh, you know, it's a no-brainer. Okay. It, it really is a comprehensive solution, especially with the video side of things as well, where it, and it's all online. Any device workers can access it. They can submit their medical certificate uh, from their phone or their, their iPad or their computer when they're not actually you know at their workplace that there's, there's a bunch of conveniences with 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 work hub and, and you know the safety out service thank you for watching this short video is part of a longer podcast that can be found on the safety out youtube channel 
as well as Apple Podcasts and Spotify. If you found this information helpful, then please like, share, and subscribe to see more videos like this one. Also, if you have any Australian and New Zealand workplace and fire safety related questions that you'd like Bruce to answer on the podcast, then feel free to leave a comment below and we'll answer it in the next week's podcast. For more in-depth information and inquiries, you can also schedule a free call with Bruce directly by visiting safetyhut.com.au.